Recently, I had someone come to me on social media and ask me, how do I balance so many responsibilities? The truth is we all have a million different things buying for our time and our attention, and it's easy to get thrown off course. It's easy to lose track of what you're supposed to be doing. One of my favorite quotes that I tell my clients all the time is that when you're so busy trying to balance everything, you're going to drop something. And so I wanna share today one productivity hack that I use to make sure that I'm balancing the most important things, but making room for things that are also important and that also matter. So. There's this thing called habit stacking. And it's so interesting because honestly, I thought that everyone did it. I thought that everyone knew about it, but it wasn't until recently I was talking to one of my really good friends and I was sharing the way I use habit stacking. And she was like, oh my gosh, I just heard about that through this challenge I'm doing. And so we compared information and I realized it is really powerful and not enough people know about it. And so the way habit stacking works is you take one habit that you'd like to build and you stack it with another habit that you'd like to build. So you're almost like you're killing two birds with one stone. So let me give you an example of the way in which I use habit stacking in my life. There is this SAVERS acronym from one of the most life-changing books called The Miracle Morning. And in The Miracle Morning, the author breaks down the most important habits that you need to incorporate into your life on a regular basis. And so SAVERS stands for Silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribe or journaling. And so I have used savers to give me guidance and direction for how I make a routine out of each of my days and throughout my day, especially in the morning. But to be honest, if I'm trying to do all of that in a really limited amount of time, it can be challenging. And so I've learned to stack my habits, killing two birds with one stone. For example, sometimes when I exercise, I'll listen to an audiobook. So now I've done E and R, two of my habits together. I've stacked them together. So whereas I would have spent an hour exercising and 30 minutes reading, so that's an hour and a half of my day, now I'm exercising and reading for an hour and freeing up that additional 30 minutes. That additional 30 minutes, I'm able to give it towards something else that I'm working on. You can have it stacked in a lot of different ways. You could listen to an audiobook when you're cooking dinner. Maybe you can play games with your kids while you're cooking dinner and you know using a crock pot or something. There's a lot of different ways that you can use it. And my friend who shared with me is that she is trying to incorporate exercise into her daily routine. And so something really cool that she is beginning to do is every time she goes to the bathroom, she is now doing 10 push-ups after each bathroom trip. And so at the end of the day, that's five or six times 10. So she's doing somewhere between 50 to 60 push-ups a day when normally she wouldn't even think about it. And the idea of sitting down and doing 60 push-ups seems overwhelming. But if you're adding it in secretly and slowly over time, it benefits you. When I think back to a few years ago, I was starting a business, working full time, working part time, going through grad school, raising two children on my own, young children at that, and it was extremely tough. I was trying to balance all of these things. And I remember I became very resentful during this time. But looking back, that time was the very thing that taught me if I didn't get in control of my schedule, my schedule was going to control me. That harsh reality was enough for me to start making significant shifts and changes that I now carry over to this very day. And tips like the one I just shared with you have been so life-changing to help me balance all of the things that are important in my life. So if right now you're working on a big goal and it just doesn't feel like you have enough time to make it happen, I challenge you to find a way that you can habit stack to make room for that goal. Comment below and let me know if you've tried habit stacking before and how it works for you.